There are pals and power worlds that are better than anything else in the entire game. However, there is an easy way to get these pals that not many people actually know about. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way in order to get these pals by the time you're level 25, and you could probably even get them sooner than that. All right, so let's talk about these overpowered pals. These pals are going to be the ones that work inside of your base. They're not going to be the PvP, the PvE pals. They're going to be your workers. Now, inside power world, there is 11 tasks that you can assign your pals to do. There are seven pals that you need to go catch here's the list of them i'm going to be showing you the locations to go get these each one of these pals that you need to go catch will somehow be in the breeding combination of the best pals that you are going to be getting all right so the first thing you need to do you need to go catch these seven pals the first pal you need is a grizz bolt the second pal you need is a van worm the third pal is a penguin the fourth pal is a relaxosaurus the fifth one is it called a celery the sixth one is the ecodeer the seventh one is a nightwing go catch every single one of these pals you can catch them before you hit level 25 because these are the lower level pals in the game that you can catch go catch all seven of these pals because these seven pals will be in the breeding combination of all the good pals that you're trying to get all right so on to the task there's 11 tasks in the game and i'm gonna be showing you the best pal that you can get for each test so the first pal i'm gonna show you how to get this will be good for the planting the gathering and the medicine as you can see right here she's a level four planter a level two gatherer and a level three medicine she's by far the best overall pal that you can have working in your base for food now you get lilene from two pals breeding these two pals you get a Massandra and you get a patilia in order to get a Massandra, you need to breed a grizzbolt and a van worm in order to get a patilia you need to breed a grizzbolt and a penguin pal this will set you up for the breeding combination you need for lilene it covers three of the major tasks that you have in your base all right so let's go over the next task the next task will be for your mining and your crafting the best one by far anubis by far the best one is the easiest one to get so what you want to do in order to get anubis you want to breed a relaxosaurus with a celery easiest combo that you can get anubis has like a hundred different combos that you can get relaxosaurus celery it's the easiest one the next task is the kindling test there is one pal in the game that by far exceeds everything in kindling it is called the yormantide ingus the only way i have found in order to get a yormantide ingus is you have to go find eggs in the volcano biome but the eggs that you have to find are going to be huge the only way i've been able to find a yormantide ingus you have to go to the volcano biome right here search this coastline right here you will find huge eggs that will breed into yormantide ingus that is the only way that you can start off getting yormantide ingus now let's say if you want to go not find eggs and you want to breed something that's good for kindling the next best thing will be this ragnarok in order to breed a ragnarok you breed the anubis that you just bred with the grizz bolt boom ragnarok and it also has level three kindling it is really really good and you will have a flyer now since you bred a ragnarok the next task that you need to get is transporting now the ragnarok has level three transporting and level three kindling it is a pal that you can have in your base that will do two tasks at its best now the next task is the lumbering task now this is more of a preference i think me personally i prefer this pal right here it is the deer let me explain why so on the deer the only thing the deer can do is lumbering i personally don't like my pals getting distracted while they're working in the base the deer's level two lumbering you really don't need that much wood in the beginning so just let them farm in your base you'll have a lot of wood at the end of it now you can go with something that's better at lumbering which would be the wumpo there's not really a good breeding way to get this the deer you can easily go out and catch the wumpo is more of a late game pal so as far as the early game goes definitely go with the deer it would be the best one that you can have for lumbering now the next task we're going to have is the watering test now there is a level four water in the game. The only level four water in the game, it's called the Yormatide right here. In order to get this Yormatide, what you want to do, you want to breed your Grizz Bolt with your Nightwing. It's the easiest breeding combination that you could possibly get. It has level four watering. It only prioritizes watering. It will not get distracted. The next task we're going over is electricity. You already have a Grizz Bolt. Grizz Bolt is really, really good on electricity. It could provide all the electricity that you need. If you want to go with something better, there's a pal called Orzerk. You can breed this pal fairly easy. The breeding combination for Orzerk is your grist bolt and relaxosaurus you already have both of those if you want the best of the best electricity pal go with the orzerk it's really really easy the next task is the cooling test now now the cooling test you really don't even need a pal for this i personally don't even use it but it is a task in the game and i will give you the best one the best one for the early game is going to be pin king you find him right here on the map he is a boss right here at the church you see the desolate church it's right here pin king go catch him he has level two cooling which it's good but personally i don't even use the cooling in my base i don't really see a reason for it i'll just keep the food going plus there's a bug in the game where if you go offline you're 
food spoils anyways. There's no point in it, but the cooling in the game, I would go with Pin King. There's some better ones, but it's hard to breed into before level 25. Now, the last task is farming. Farming, I really don't even consider you really breeding into this. You need to go out and find the personal farmer that you need, whether it be a Kremis or a wool farm or a Pokeball farm. Now, as far as the last task farming, it really depends on what you need. I'm gonna leave this one blank because it's personal preference. If you need wool, you go out and get the sheep. If you need arrows and pal spears, you go out and get a Vixie. It depends on what you need. Now, if you forget any of the breeding combination of these pals, I'll leave all of them in the description down below. But these are all the best pals for your base workers. If you learned something from the video, leave a like, subscribe down below for more Power World. I might be live on the channel. I stream Power World every once in a while, so uh, check that out. We'll see you in the next Power World video. Peace.